Today, we are here to discuss the key features of the Fluke 971 temperature and humidity meter. To begin your readings, simply twist the port on the top to expose the sensor. To power on the unit, simply press the power button and your screen will display a relative humidity reading as well as your temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. Now you can change to degrees Celsius, simply remove the battery access panel and you will find a selector switch to change to either degrees Celsius or to degrees Fahrenheit. The hold button will save your screen, keeping the last reading that you have taken with the 971. To return back to a live reading, simply press the hold button one more time. Now your meter will measure in ambient mode. To access your dew point measurement, press the ambient button one time. To get to your wet bulb temperature, press it once more. To return back to ambient temperature, just press the button one more time. We do have a min-max feature on the 971 as well. Simply press this button. You will have your min-max reading on the screen. And to sequence through, press the button once to get your minimum reading. Press it once again to get your average. And once again to get your maximum reading. To exit this mode and go back to a live measurement, simply hold the min-max button down and you are now back to a live measurement. Another key feature of the 971 is that you can store up to 99 readings. To save the reading, simply press the Save button and a numerical sequence will be assigned to that reading. To recall your previously saved readings, simply press the Recall button. And you will see a numerical sequence has been assigned to it. Simply assess those with the up and down arrow keys to recall your previous readings. To exit this mode, simply hold down the recall button to go back to a live measurement. And these are the key features of the Fluke 971 temperature and humidity meter.